Hello there, and today I'm going to be showing you my 12 marker for incarnation. So this is taken out of my real GCC paper, and the statement is, the best way of living a Christian life is to follow the Beatitudes, Matthew 5, 1 to 12. This is the 2022 paper. Again, just ignore the bullet points, go straight into it. Catholics would agree with this statement as although the Old Testament says that it is God's law that we must follow, Jesus emphasizes that people's attitudes are more important. The Beatitudes state, then I've got the quote, that blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called children of God. If we want to live a good Christian life, we should be peacemakers. So I'm analyzing the quote now. To become children of God, we should follow the Beatitudes to become more like God. The best way of living a Christian life, therefore, is by following Jesus' example and change our attitudes to people. I'll always go like, therefore, this, and then I'll quote the statement, the best way of living a Christian life is by following da da da, my point from that whole paragraph. Um, next one. Now I've got a different point of view. This is literal Catholic. So before it was just Catholics, now literal Catholic. So it is contrasting. Literal Catholics would disagree with the statement and say that the best way of living a Christian life is to follow the Ten Commandments. So you'll see in my 12 markers, I do this a lot. I'll say what kind of Catholics they would be. I'll be like Catholics or Christians or atheists would agree or disagree with the statement and say that and then put my point of what their perspective would be. The Ten Commandments are God's law inscribed in stone and so should be followed at all times. As literal Catholics believe that the Ten Commandments are the actual word of God, capitalization of word because, yeah, they believe that we have been commanded to follow these laws. If God commands us to follow these laws, they must be important and part of God's will for humans. Therefore, this is my concluding link again, I always use therefore, as you can see again. Therefore, literal Catholics would completely disagree with the statement and say that the best way to live a Christian life is to follow the Ten Commandments. I would also say, to make it more analytical, instead of just saying agree, disagree, you need to add an adverb in front of that. So they would completely agree, they would somewhat agree, they are likely to agree, anything like that. So normally the statement will say that there's a best way of doing this, but another point that you can make, which is a really easy third point, is saying that there's no best way because there's not really. So my last point is some Christians, so now I've got Christians, the overall religious point of view, would say that there is no best way to live a Christian life as long as you are loving your neighbor. Another quote. As Jesus taught us to, you are doing God's will. The Beatitudes are important, but they do not apply to everyone. For example, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. May not refer to everyone, as perhaps some people have not experienced the death of a loved one. Some Christians may even say that it is actually impossible to follow the Beatitudes, as no one is pure in heart. We all have sin. And so no one will see God. Everyone is born with original sin, so they cannot be pure, as Jesus says. So original sin is another key word from the specification that we need to know, and I've mentioned it, so that gives me bonus points, I think. You can see that they've put green ticks on stuff that they liked. Now I've got my link back again. Therefore, the best way to live a Christian life is not to follow the Beatitudes or the Ten Commandments, but to have the right attitude to other people and love your neighbor. Finish with a quote, how nice is that? Now we've got the conclusion. Remember in the conclusion, you put your summaries and you put your own opinion in it too. In conclusion, although some Catholics would agree with this statement, some Christians would disagree to and say that it is better to follow the Ten Commandments or that there is no best or right way to live a Christian life. I believe that if you follow Jesus' example the best you can, that is enough. It is important to follow the Ten Commandments and not murder but it is more important to continually want to be like God and aim to follow Jesus' example rather than letting laws dictate your life. If your will is in the right place, you will naturally follow God's law. So they've given me a level four and 12 out of 12 for that. Um, as you can see, I have a quote in each paragraph. I'm just checking that I do. Or I mention a source of authority. So for example, in my second one, I answer, I talk about the Ten Commandments, which is a source of authority. I mean, they, they were kind of nice with this question because they gave you the Beatitudes uh, in the statement. So obviously you'd write, write about them. They're giving you a hint that you need to use those quotes. Um, I've given four different perspectives again. 
um, and I've always used embedded quotes so try and do that. Try and use keywords like original sin, natural law. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this 12 marker and it helped you with your revision, do leave a like and subscribe. I will post my next one soon. <laughs> See you then. Bye!